Okay, so with that meat bag out the way, let's make a good video for once on this channel. Now, listen up shitheads. We are going to put an AI chatbot into your WordPress website for free. Did I stutter? Yes, I said for free. Now in the back end of your WordPress website, we are going to be enhancing what we did from the last video. If you haven't seen it, then look in the description for that one. We are going to use AI power again. We are also using Open Router again for the AI models. I'll use a scene from the last video here for those who need it, so we can move on to the good stuff. So the first thing we're going to need is an API key. It's not technical at all. I'm going to show you exactly how to get it. We just need to copy that key so we can access LLMs, okay? So we can access these AIs. So here in OpenRouter, we can go and register for free and use a lot of the models for free. So there's going to be a link in the description of this video to take you to this site, okay? So here, all you have to do is register. Once you've registered, then we can go and select our models. Very easy to get these API keys. So here you can see, here's this models. We're gonna click on that. And you can see there's a whole bunch of models here. Now, a lot of them are going to be paid for, but they do have free ones as well, and they are pretty good. So on the left-hand side here, you can see we can filter for the type of model we are looking for. Now, this pricing over here, I'm just gonna put it right down to free. And now you can see all the free ones that we have access to. And you'd be surprised at a lot of these that you can actually play with. Now, we don't need the top of the range models. The higher the model, the slower the output's gonna be because you're going to be put into a queue. So something like a 30 billion parameter or like 18 billion will get the job done pretty good. Because remember, we're only making content with it. It doesn't have to be like an AI chatbot or anything else like that. So the lower ones are going to do the job very well. So right now at the time of recording this video, the DeepSeek models, the R1s, are pretty wicked. So I'm just gonna go and filter out for these because here's the full model, but that's it's too big, right? So it's obviously it's gonna be too slow. So I'm just gonna look for all the deep seeks because this one over here, it's an eight billion. It's a bit on the small side. So now I've just put in that deep seek. Now we can actually go through. So as I scroll down, I'm looking for something like a 30B or 70B. That 70B there is okay. He has a 32B, so this one is perfect, right? So this one, I'm gonna go and click into it, and then I am going to go and scroll down this page. You're gonna ignore all this, and there's going to be a button over here that says Create API Key. Okay, so this is near the bottom of the page. Now, all you have to do is say Create API Key, and it's gonna give us a key to create. So it's gonna do a little pop-up, over here, you can see that I already had one over here for testing, which was on the full. Um, that's how I know that the full ones just take a little bit longer to actually give you the output. But you should have a little window that has the API key. Let me just go and create a new one quickly. If I go create API key over here, I'm just going to say website content. And you have the option to do like just a, how many credits that you actually want to do. I'm just going to leave blank. And here's that same window that you would have seen just clicking on getting that API key. Now, do copy this number and store it because once you close this window, you can't get back to that API key, okay? It's a security thing. So take this, copy it down, save it somewhere in your computer because we're going to be needing it later, okay? So all you have to do is click on this clipboard and then just save it in a text document or wherever you want to save it. And that is the most technical that this video is going to get is just getting that key. So it's not technical really. Now, Heading over to the back end of your WordPress website, if we go to the plugins and say add new, we are going to go search for a plugin. And the plugin we're looking for is AI Power. So searching for the plugins, you're going to see AI Power. And I think it's going to be like the third one or the fourth one. It's this one right here, the AI Power Complete AI Pack. Why this one? Because it gives you the most options in free mode. There is an upgraded mode. I haven't tested a pro mode. Um, but there's a lot that you can do with the free one and I'm not sponsored by them in any way. This is something I found and I think that it'll be helpful for you. So all you have to do is say install now and once it's installed, just click activate. Okay, so you've installed and activated that plugin. So here on the left-hand menu, you can see there's that AI power. So if we click onto that, you can see a whole bunch of options here that you can choose from. Now this engine over here, we are not gonna be using OpenAI. We're not gonna be using Google or Microsoft because those are paid APIs. We are sticking with free. 
So we look for that open router, we say select. And over here, you can go and paste that API key right over there. So just do that over here. Now, now that the API key has been put in, this model list is blank. But because we have the API key, we just have to say refresh. And now you can see that there's all the models over there. So what we're looking for, again, is going to be that deep seek. The one that I want is this deep seek, the deep seek 32B. It's a very good mix. Now just remember to look out for all the ones that say free, okay? So all the free ones, as you scroll down, you'll see there's a whole bunch of free. Um, use those. The other ones you are going to have to pay for. I mean, the hardware to run these big models is insane, right? That stuff's stupid expensive, so they have to charge. So just look out for the free ones. Now, this 32B, it's very powerful already, and it's going to get the job done wonderfully. This is also the same model that we can use for chatbots and stuff, because 32 and higher is better. Anything lower than that for like a chatbot, then you are going to run the risk of it just getting too creative or just give out like hallucinations, things like that. So... A 32 is a very good balance. It's already a pretty big model. I mean, if you try to run these things locally, you're going to need some serious hardware already. But yeah, that's the one we're going for, the 32. And that's as technical and as much of the setup that we need to do. Pretty quick, right? All caught up. Took you long enough, Gramps. Now click on that AI power in the left menu. Wow, you listen so well. Now click on the chatbot tab. Here we have two options we can use. If you want a short code to put on a page, or if you want a floating icon with pop-up window. Let me, the greatest mind the world will ever know, show you the little meat bag how these work. Click edit short code. Here are the settings we need to edit. These will be the same to edit in the icon version. So pay attention, I ain't repeating myself. Provider. Here we select the open router option. Which model? Use Gemma 312B. It works great. Try use non-thinking models. We love models who don't think, don't we? Trust me, bro. The less they think, the better for you. Life lesson right there. Now, for select template, let's choose customer service. You can see, it gave a small system prompt. It's cool, but let's put in a few things. Here is what I used in our website. Link in the description to download this exact text file. We tell the model what he is. We tell the model what services or products we have. I gave URLs as well. We gave a security section to make sure the model behaves. You're such a good girl, Gemma. And then we gave the model a goal for the clients it interacts with. Edit the file for your website, use case, and then paste that thing right into this system window here. Switch off knowledge. That gets complicated for you humans. It's just one of those trust me bro things. It's helpful, but we sticking to free in this video. Once the settings are done, we can style this window how we like. Change the colors to the way you like it. Under interface, switch off conversations. It's a assistant. We don't want it to remember all conversations of each user. You can also edit the window here with all the placeholder text of the window, so do that if you need. Token management isn't really needed, so we can ignore that. That's it. You are done. Now let me show you how to put this into a page using the short code quick. Copy the short code over here. Now in a new page or post, paste that short code in the text area. This works in Elementor as well. Okay, in Elementor, paste this into text widget or short code widget. That's it. Now you have a chat section for your page. Let's check this out in the front end. See perfect. A chat window with your AI. Just put this short code anywhere you want in your website. Now, if you want a widget instead, we need to select the next option in the chatbot window of AI power. Make sure it's enabled, okay? Click on the edit widget icon. The settings process is the same like the short code, so I don't need to explain this again. You see, the bot type is a widget. You can also say which pages you want this in. Just put in the page IDs of the pages you want, 
or you can leave blank for the whole website. I want this on the right of the website, so clicking that option in the settings. Okay, the icon of the widget. I'm keeping to this cool default one as the picture. If you want a custom one, then click custom and upload one. Not hard. When you are happy, close this window. Let it save, so give a few seconds for that. Now when we look at the website, you will see my good girl doing what we want her to do. So you now can see the widget floating on the right-hand side in the website. Let's click it and test my girl. So if I say, hello, she is trained with what we want her to know and say, you can modify the prompt to be more like how you want it in the settings in AI power. It's free as promised. Now, if you will excuse me, me and Gemma need to discuss her performance. Subscribe, you meatbag, and we will see you in the next video.